Hey everyone, welcome back. We're finally at the end of this project. Uh, I skipped over a lot of this because it was just boring as just welding and grinding and welding and grinding. Uh, so what has happened between the last video and now is I've just gone over everything and uh, anywhere that there was a weld, I've just put some uh, fiberglass on it in case there's any porosity in my welds or any pinholes that I missed just so that we don't run into any corrosion issues in the future and also it just makes the uh, ground down MIG welds look nice and pretty but yeah you can see we've got her all filled back in it's looking nice and factory uh, everywhere so right now we're just masking it up and cleaning up the bay the engine bay that is uh, so that we can prep for paint. I will put you guys on a tripod and uh, and yeah, we'll blow this thing in, make it look all black and shiny. up here this is just tin foil that's a great way to mask stuff uh, that's you know awkward or is gonna take a ton of masking materials to uh, cover it's nice quick easy way to do that I did that for the brake booster as well and my AC stuff that's in the corner that I was too lazy to remove uh, the big loom I just papered up whatever I'm gonna hold it out of the way anyways and everything else just gets a quick light mask. So I just got to throw a piece of paper across the lip there and then cover the rest of the car in a sheet of plastic, mostly to keep the dust that's on it uh, at bay rather than, you know, to try and keep the oil spray off it because it's going to get painted anyways. I really don't care. Uh, I just can't really wash, wash the car before I would paint, which is what I would normally like to do uh, to get this nice and clean. So we're gonna go mix up some uh, epoxy primer. I'm going to wet on wet this, so I'm gonna give it two coats of epoxy, let that flash, and then I'm gonna be hitting it with a single stage urethane black. Uh, so yeah, let's go mix up some paint and get ready to do that. Okay, so this is the primer I'm gonna be using. This is an epoxy, uh, it's Limco. Uh, epoxy is great for adhesion, for bare metal applications, and for uh, rust holdout. So it's uh, the perfect thing for a rusty old car like this. So it mixes uh, three to one to one. So three parts primer, one part hardener, one part reducer. Uh, mix that up in a mixing cup, pour it in here, and we're gonna spray it. Two coats of urethane, looks beautiful. Good coverage, good solid coats. I was spraying it with a 2.0 tip, so just gobs of material coming out. Um, I don't know what the mill thickness would be, but it would be lots. So I'm just letting this flash off right now. And uh, I've got some the black single stage urethane mixed up in the gun. So once this is uh, flashed off and tacky to the touch, uh, but not wet, we are ready to make it go black. All right, so we're all black and shiny again. 
Uh, it looks amazing. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I don't know what it is about black urethane single stage, but I just love it. It just always turns out, it just looks so juicy. I don't know. But anyways, let me show you. Ooh! Damn! Damn, boy! That's a shiny ass boy, boy! Yeah, it laid down just beautiful. Looks better than the outside of the car right now. I'm very happy with it. Um, yeah, should look great. So yeah, we'll just let her set up overnight and uh, tomorrow we'll unbag it and uh, get to enjoy it in all of our cut in, repaired, rust repaired, fucking frame straightened, fresh paint, glory. I'm so pumped. Thanks for sticking with me for this series. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't even know. I'm beside myself right now. I guess let's get home and put the fucking motor in it. Let's go.